Louisiana Beer Reviews, Green King's Abbott Ale, brewed longer for a distinctive full flavor. It says an irresistible ale with masses of fruit characters, a malty richness, and a superb hop balance. Mmm, sounds great. Fruit character, all that. 5% alcohol introduced at some point in history. Brewed in England, imported by Total Beverage Solution, interestingly enough. Uh, this is in the 16.9 ounce can. I bought this at Dorgnax Supermarket on Veterans Boulevard in Metairie, Louisiana. It was like nine. No, let me take that back. I think it was $8.99 for a four pack. So it's expensive. Uh, we're looking at about uh, $2.25 a can, but uh, let's see if, if it's irresistible or not. Um, I was looking at their website, which is pretty um, good. I mean, it's a, it explains a lot. It doesn't give the year that the beer came out, but it talks a lot about the beer and how they produce it and everything. They use Crystal Barley Malt, First Gold, Challenger, and Fuggles Hops. Gets a good score on Beer Advocate. An outstanding score from the Bros, their second highest score. 49 out of 100 rate beer, that ain't too good. 51 out of 100 for the style, not too good. But it does get us an excellent score on the beer and meat. I've never had this before. Um, I'm curious to try it. Uh, let's see if they have a recommended temperature. I don't see that at all. All right, let's check it out, man, or woman. See some smoke. This is a ESB type beer. No. English pale ale. Okay, it's got the nitro. I haven't seen the bottles. It's got the nitro widget. It built the head pretty fast. Sometimes they really, they're really roiling, but it didn't do that. So it built a pretty thick, pretty thick, white, kind of soapy head. And the appearance is, well, golden, kind of orange golden, really. Orange golden. And the bubbles, there are some tiny little bubbles. They're not really ferociously ascending, though. And the beer is clear. It's it's filtered. Um, let's check it out. It's got that typical English ale smell, man. It's that lightly roasted barley malt. The mild hops that strange fungus or mold aroma. It's hard to describe, but it, the Fuller's, this, um, some of the other ones, they all have that, that weird cellar mold aroma that I never pick up in American style beers, American made beers. I just do not pick that up. And at first I thought, oh, this beer is rancid or or old, but now I realize it's just the style. And I've grown accustomed to it, to an extent. <laughs> it's pretty creamy. It's not Guinness creamy, though. I was hoping it would make that kind of cream, but it did make a pretty creamy head. Let's go with the flavor. The flavor is the same thing. It's like You ever had bananas and they were way too old and they had like that that taste that something was growing on them? <laughs> Something's growing in this bread. Bread mold? I don't know. It's just a strange flavor. Um, I don't love it. It's got some nice hot bitterness. It's got a lot of breadiness, like I'm thinking of like um, 
bunny bread crust or uh, they used to make wholesome bread until uh, Hostess went kaplunked. Um, or sunbeam bread crust. It has some tea qualities to an extent, some caramel, some toffee. It's an interesting beer. You can't say it's some dull, uh, nondescript beer. Oh no. Um, some people just wouldn't drink it in America. Now in England, they might they might be used to this flavor. I know most people I know in in the United States would say, "Not drinking this, <laughs> not drinking this." But um, I like it. I mean, it's weird. It's a weird. I'm not really into drinking mold or <laughs> fungus, but I mean, it's it's. I don't know. It's I like it. It's weird, but I like it. Um, it's got character to it. Whether that's good. Rape beer is saying the character. Yeah, it's got character. It's just a bad character. Beer advocate saying, oh no, it's good. Um, and so is um, the beer in me. A good score and outstanding i'm not gonna go as high as outstanding that'd be like an a a solid a actually outstanding would be an a plus world class would be above an a plus but it's certainly good and i think it's better than just good it's um uh, i'm gonna say I don't know what that code means. L13021GJ00100-40. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of dates we're looking for. That's the kind of dates Greg wants. <laughs> Be nice to put a regular date, but ain't hey, hootie. Um, I can't get past that smell. I'm going to give it a B plus. I mean, if it didn't have that strange bread mold, and it's not really bread mold. That's a bad description. It's some kind of mold, though, like when my grandpa had that bomb shelter. Actually, the bomb shelter is still there. It had that, he used to store potatoes down in there. It had that strange aroma. But uh, I don't know. I can't figure it out. It's not the beer. You know, it's like when a woman tells you she's going to break up. It's not you, it's me, which translated into regular English means it really is you, and I found somebody better that I like better. But anyway, it's not the beer, it's me, but really it is the beer, it's not me. I just find it's odd, but uh, I like it, it's interesting. I'm going to give it a B plus. It's very good in a bizarre type of way. So, laissez les bon temps roulé, this is a unusual one. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to our moldy cellar. I mean, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.